the DSP just arrived. So I got the five band stereo. But what's actually funny is that it came in this box. <laughs> This is how it came. So we got user manual, owner manual, owner's manual. And then these wires. I don't know exactly what that is, I'll have to check it out. But rise and shine. It's hard with one hand, but there it is. So what I'm glad about is that is this is the size of it, right? And to be honest, very good quality built. We'll have sub out. This is the entrance, the in from that. And then you have rear, right and left, and front, right and left. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use these two for them. And I'm gonna be using this for that. And this is pretty much it. I have to tell you right now, if you are a professional installer with car audio, right? I suggest you cover your eyes because... <laughs> oh. What I'm about to, to show you is not gonna be pleasant. Anyway, it worked for me so just bear in there right so what i've done was since i have three amplifiers one for the mids and highs and two uh one each for for the subwoofers i went with one two and three <laughs> uh rcas from the back of the unit all the way around like that covered on that side of the the car on the left all the way to the back yeah three runs <laughs> of rcas until this point i had no dsp i had no nothing right so the signal was going straight from the unit to the back uh to each amplifier because i've changed the unit it doesn't let me you know it's not going smoothly as the other one what i mean by that is every time i'm switching the engine off i have this big thump in the speakers i don't like that and what i've decided to do is to buy my dsp one plus size is the the signal will be you know better two uh, I'm gonna run only one set of RCAs from the head unit is gonna meet the DSP. I'm gonna run shorter RCA wires for each amplifier. To install a DSP, you have to put battery power right over here. You have to put the ground wire over here. Mine are coming from here. That's the negative that's the positive then the remote from the unit the head unit whenever you turn the head unit on the DSP will turn on now you will need a set of RCAs for the signal from the head unit unit as well and once you've done that you need wires from DSP to each of your amplifiers this is how it should be connected right you can mess with these yourself. 
Oh. Oh. RCA cable from the hand unit from front to back. Remote wire from front to back. Depending on where is your battery, positive and negative wires from the battery directly. And then RCAs from the DSP to your amplifiers. You're all set. Ta-da! Now, la piece de résistance. meant to be there.